Alright, what's good everyone? So we just got back from the Tinley Park Reptile Expo. I'd like to give a shout out to everyone that stopped by, both old and new. I really had a good time talking to everyone, chopping it up and bullshitting. But I'd like to thank everyone that stopped by to pick up a short tail python. Looks like I'm going to be out of um, the really dark black Sumatra short tails until hopefully next year if all goes well. But this video is actually going to be on the Madagascar tree boas, Zanzanias. I did a video over a year ago when I picked up two babies from my buddy Keith McPeak where they were red. The babies already started to turn green and it looks like a bunch of um, y'all that will watch that watched that video came to me at the expo um, asking for updates. So I was actually surprised that uh, over a year ago, y'all still remember that I still have those animals. So I'm going to show you those two babies now what they look like as well as my larger adult brown face um, Zanzania. So let's get it. All right, so here's my adult. Madagascar tree boa female. This is gonna be the western species. So these are usually brown with a lot of yellows. The easterns are gonna be the greens. I think at one time they were considered um, different localities or subspecies, but I believe they've elevated them to full on species. From what I know about these, the browns, which are also considered westerns or mandarins, they get um they get quite a bit bigger than the greens. But this is a female, adult. Let's see, she's pretty big too. She's a 2014 animal. Let's see if I can get her to extend a little bit for ya. I'm gonna guess she's gotta be at least five feet. Yeah, at least five feet. If not bigger. And they will get a little bigger than this. Um, I had uh, my buddy Keith McPeak check her out. And he said at this size right here, she can drop a little of up to 15 babies or more but that she could, she could still get a little bigger. So yeah, she's a 2014 animal. I kind of regret not getting um, a male at the time. I had the opportunity to pick up a male with her. But I was always searching for those greens, so she was more like just to get for the species. But I'm actually putting her in this video now because after um, during Tinley, I was speaking to another buddy of mine that has experience breeding these. He has a, an adult male. So it looks like I'm gonna be shipping her out next week to him. And if all goes well, maybe next year I might have some of these. But yeah, I wasn't ever too much into the into the brown ones until lately. I've been um there's a Facebook group. I think it's called Zanzania or Madagascar, Madagascar bow, something like that. And there's a lot of line breeding and stuff like that going on with this phase, with this species where they're getting um, lots of yellows. I mean, some animals I'm seeing are having like triple the amounts of the yellows this one has all the way through. And they're holding their colors better. She's pretty decent. I've seen really dark brown animals and she's not, um, she's not that dark. Not a big species, but look at that, uh, I would say almost heart shaped or arrow spear looking head shape she's got to us, crazy looking. And these are a semi arboreal species. So you could say something similar to a carpet python. Really cool boas. Definitely not um frail like uh green tree pythons or emerald tree boas and stuff. These things can take some really gnarly sized meals and have no problem digesting them. Never had one of these um regurge or anything like that. They grow pretty quick too. And surprisingly, this right here is the longest I've ever handled this animal. So 
They most of the time, other than when they're babies, they te they seem to um. What, what would you say? Uh. They seem to become very docile. Not sure why. I barely ever handle this animal. Oh. So yeah. Hopefully you get some babies and hold back some. See what happens. But now I'm gonna put this one back. And I'll take out um I'll start with one of the greens. Alright, so here's one of the Easterns. You can see completely green. It's lost all of the red it originally had. Uh, I'll post a picture from when we first got them and they were really red. So the green started off really red as babies. And I think the, the brown started off, I think they started kind of reddish too, just not as dark red. Maybe more yellows in them, a lot more yellows in them. All these, look how green this one's already turned. And it's just over a year old, so this is a boy. He's going to only get better as he ages. And like I said, um, this species is real tolerable of handling. I think they struck um, once or twice when they were babies. This is also the longest I've ever handled it. They just seem to become really, really chill with almost no handling. I wish the camera could focus on in the head. It's gonna probably be too hard to, the belly. Is this one going into shed? This one might be going into a shed soon. Yeah, so it should be crazy to see how this one's gonna look in another, say about another year. Yeah, so the greens are the Easterns. Madagascar tree boa, or Zanzania, we'll call them. And then the browns are gonna be the Westerns, which are also called sometimes um, mandarins. These don't get as big. The mother to these is um, actually my adult. I sent her off to Keith McPee as well. And he managed to find a male from a buddy of his to breed, because Keith, if I'm correct, was the first person to um, produce these in captivity, probably back in like the 80s or something like that. So there was no, no better person to send off that female to. And we, um, we split the litter, I think it was, uh, what was it? Six babies? And we split it three ways. Keith and other, his buddy got a 1.1. And I took the two males since um, I already had the adult female. And then, um, yeah, like I said, I just spoke to Keith, seen him in person the other day. And he said, uh, my girl already had a year off, so looks like he'll be pairing her again this, uh, this winter. And if all goes well again, we'll have some more babies. Yeah, you can see why I like the greens. I mean, this this thing isn't even, he's not even done coloring up. Just look how nice he is. I mean, really cool snakes to have. They don't get big. The greens stay a little smaller than the browns. And that brown girl you see, she could get a little bigger than that, but for the most part, they're a smaller species. Very active species. You'll find them climbing a lot if you keep them in a, a boreal setup. I find that um, once they've eaten a meal, they'll come down to the floor. And if you have a hide, they'll, they'll stay in a hide or a water bowl large enough to soak in, they'll soak. But as soon as they're fully digested and hungry again, They'll climb back up and they will stay, um, stay up high until a meal comes by again. So this one I would say is a lighter green than the last one I'm gonna pull out. I 
Yeah, I wish the camera focused on the head a little better. Let me get the other one. Check this one out. Crazy green. Look at that snake. This thing is stupid looking. I mean, for arboreal species, a semi-arboreal, this is it for me. I don't need to fuck with any of the other stuff out there. These are the ones I want to really um, mess with. This is a little more active, a little more sure. Look at that green, it's just crazy looking. Eastern, Tanzania, Madagascar, tree boas. The first time I seen this species was actually in, um, uh, what was it, Brian, Brian Barczak, snake bites. I'm not sure if he was snake bites at the time, still snake bites at the time, but he used to do those tour videos. And he did a tour video of uh, what you call like an importer and he pulled out one of these as a baby. And when I went to look it up, I found the greens. It was the first thing I seen. And from there on, I had to have it. They kind of reminded me a little bit with the head. They got these short, stout heads with black eyes. Almost of a, an arboreal green anaconda. If there was such a thing. And that's what really got me. really amazing I want to try to pull out the other one I have a feeling this one's a little bit more nervous yeah I want to pull out the other green one to show you the difference um, side by side let's see so you can see two completely different greens and that's what's cool about this species there's no morphs or anything but they can vary a lot of variation so you could have different type, you know, with the Easterns, the greens, you got different color of greens, darker greens, lighter greens, greens, um, lime greens. And then the same with the browns. There's a lot of really nice um, browns right now that are, some of them are holding a little bit of the red into adulthood and have lots of um, amounts of yellows. So the variation in the species is really cool, really nice. Like I said, that head right there. Awesome little heads. And you can see how well they are at climbing. Very, very good at climbing. Very arboreal. All right, so let me put these away. All right, so in the comments, let me know what you think about the Madagascar tree boas. I may actually be bringing these two greens with me to the March Tinley Reptile Expo, just to um, take up some space and have something on display. We'll see how it goes. By then, they should um, look even better. If not, within another year, I'll do an update video for y'all just to show y'all how much better they've gotten. Also, I'll be at the Long Island Reptile Expo this Sunday, um, vending there for the first time. So if y'all did, stop by and say what's good. Looks like another month or two, we're gonna be shutting down shipping for the winter. And probably not going to be able to let anything go until uh, spring or so, give or take. But y'all already know what it is. Hate, comment, subscribe. Till next time. Later.